Hi. Robin. Levi. Hi, Levi. Nice to meet you. Are you familiar with the work of Dr. Jeremy Narby, the Cosmic Serpent? I'm sorry, I'm not interested in buying anything. Would you take me off your Whoa, list? Oh, I'm not selling anything. I'm just here to give you some free information. All right, well, I'm still not interested. But this could change your life. Listen, I'm trying to be polite here, but I work from home and you're keeping me from some really important work. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I'm not... Levi? Excuse me. Levi? Levi? Hi. Can I just use the bathroom there? I mean, I've been driving all day and this is really an emergency. Just go to a gas station or something. Well, I can't just go to a gas station or something. I mean, you need to be a paying customer to use those stalls. I'm sorry, I just really don't feel comfortable letting a stranger into my house. I'm not a stranger, I'm Robin. Man, you're Levi. We've met. Look, I'm not a thief. I got everything I need. Everything. You can pat me down when I leave the bathroom if you're worried about that, or I'll leave you my jacket. No, I, 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 I don't want, want to do look, that. I don't want to really do this, but I'm going to leave you the keys to my car. Huh? As collateral. And if I take anything from the bathroom, you can keep my car free and clear. And it's got half a tank of gas and, and, and a satellite radio. I mean, I think this is a great deal. Please? Look. Huh? I got a flashlight. Just be a second. You can leave that. Thank you. All right, man, I'm finished. You like to pat me down? I can take off my jacket if you like. No, it's not necessary. I'd just like to get back to my work. Fair enough. Let me, uh, let me give you one of my cards, in case you change your mind. Thanks. Wow. This is an incredible skylight. It's quality light. Yeah, lucky guy. Good luck with your work, Levi. Oh, you scared me there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No problem, no problem. Hey, are you Levi's friend? I am, I'm Robin. Hey, Robin, how you doing? Hey, Dennis. Nice to meet you. Hey, Levi, how you doing? I got some mail for you there, good buddy. Oh. Look like you got a new National Geographic. Thanks. And... Thanks. You bet, you bet. Hmm. So, uh, what are you guys up to? Well, I was trying to just do a Music presentation, actually. Presentation? Mm-hmm. Man, I love those things. Well, maybe leave. I'd let you join us. Well, can I join you guys? <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, come on. Now, listen, I, uh, come on. Come hey, on, hey, Levi. I, 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 Le Levi, could I? Gentlemen, are you aware of the fact that modern science has little to no understanding of over 97% of our DNA? 
97%. I mean, that's a lot of DNA, right? This mystery DNA, which scientists commonly refer to it as junk DNA, well, it's present in every single life form on this planet. From the simple single cell organism to the majestic blue whale. Now, in his 1995 breakthrough book, The Cosmic Serpent, Dr. Jeremy Narby, the Swiss archeologist, comes up with a theory that this junk DNA actually contains a coded language. Within this coded language are the secrets of the entire universe. Now what if I were to tell you, gentlemen, my colleagues and I we figured out a way to decode this secret now we are ready to share the secrets <laughs> with the rest of the world. That sounds great. <laughs> we need no longer sit beneath the sword of Damocles, gentlemen. Now I've prepared a few simple presentations for the two of you. First, I have this, this painting of nuns, right? Digging a ditch in a graveyard. It's trippy quite understand it. Hey! That's son of raw! I love those guys! Now Levi, can I ask you to open up the box in the middle there? The middle box. You wanna see what I got from Amazon? If you don't mind. Now I would like to ask the two of you to stand up and close your eyes and repeat after me. Ready? Levi, close your eyes, please. It wasn't poisonous. It's fine. It's fine. Good. Clear the mind. Clear the mind. Stand at the center. Stand at the center. Know the feel. Know the feel. Become the other. Become the other. The other. All the places that the island visits are to wise men. Gentlemen, I'm gonna to count to three and clap. You can open your eyes. One, two, three. What's that guy doing in my living room? That's Cameron, man, from Son of Raw. I love you. <laughs> now, Levi, do you feel those horns on your head? Those are a direct physical sign from the heavens. Nice, man. Looking good. Levi, I am happy to inform you that you are the modern day Moses. Now is your time. What's going on? Come on, be honest with yourself, Levi. Haven't you always known this? From the time you were a little kid, in the back of your head, you must have, you must have known this. I mean, why do you think you were obsessed with Charlton Hesley and the Ten Commandments? Take this off of you. I can't take them off of you. Levi, they're part of you. They're, they're your fate. They're coded in your DNA. Congratulations. You guys need to get out. All of you guys need to get out of here. Okay, Cameron, sorry, we gotta cut this short. Okay, folks, thanks for your time. Good night. I can't believe it, Cameron from Son of Raw. Wow. <laughs> here, here, hey, let me grab that for you. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, man. So you live around here? Yeah. You want to grab a bite to eat or something? Sure, man. Oh, man, that sounds great. They got some nice restaurants down on Franklin. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Paris. 
I call it Lil Perry. <laughs> so we want to get. This is your day. Whatever you want to eat, it's yours. On me, okay? An omelet, dude. You uh, omelet? Come on, man. Oh, yeah. You gotta go big in an omelet. Some man. olives. All right, whatever you want, man. Something nice to drink. You know what I mean? Levi, you got my card if you need to talk about anything, okay? And just a heads up, you're probably gonna see a burning bush or some other sign by the end of the day. Just, you know, don't panic. It's fine. I got a lot of respect for you, man.